What's up guys, it's me your boy Steve Random here, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining is blind buy a good or bad thing? Now, blind buy means basically you're online looking for a fragrance and you have no idea what it smells like, but then you come across one and you purchase it, it comes home or it comes to your address, that basically means you've done a blind buy. Instead of, you know, going to store, smelling it, then buying it, as opposed to just buying it straight away off online. Um, so blind buy obviously is more convenient because you don't have to go outside, you know, smell some fragrances, then go and order it. You could just go online, click buy now, and then you've got it, and you've blind buy something. But is blind buy a good or bad thing? Or is it both? Um, so I kind of think and before I get into this I have to say that my collection pretty much 90% of my collection 90% of my collection is pretty much blind buys so I've gotten really lucky I'm gonna explain the good and the bad just because I feel like I've gone both sides of that um, so the good things about blind buy good things it's definitely more convenient you can just do it straight from your computer um, instead of you know going to a store and then smelling the fragrance that wouldn't count as a blind buy because you smelt the fragrance so you're not blind buying it but you're just buying it instead of doing that uh, it's definitely it saves more time and another thing is if you don't have a local mall or a local store that you can go to and just smell fragrances then you're pretty much stuck with blind buys or you can buy samples, which is uh, something I usually do a lot. I have a lot of samples and I have almost equivalent amount of samples to my fragrances. So I do buy a lot of samples and the only time I really blind buy is, I've, is if I've seen like 10 reviewers review this fragrance and say it's a very safe option, I would definitely buy it as you know a blind buy or something, then I would get it. But instead of that, I do not get blind buys. Um, I have to purchase them, especially if they're really expensive. I'm not gonna, you know, blind buy something like that unless I've smelt it before, which which makes sense. So blind buy can be a good thing because it's convenient. Can be a good thing as well because you don't have any stores. You can just buy it online. And another thing why it can be a good thing if you if you get let's say a scent that you don't like and you get it, you can give it to some other people. You know put it in decats, give it to some other people, help some other people out by letting them know how it smells because you personally don't like it so you don't really care how much you're giving away and I'm not sure if there's anything else to be honest I haven't thought about this but blind buy I don't think there's any other good things for it I guess you can yeah uh, the good things I've run out of good things for blind buys but I have a lot of bad things to say about blind buys First of all, obviously it makes the most sense if your you know, fragrance arrives and you smell it and you don't like it, then that's just a blind buy fail right there. And that means your one fragrance that you're not going to use is just going to stay there rusting. Um, so blind buy can be a pretty bad option. And you know, second thing, it can also just waste your money because Imagine, you know, just having like five fragrances you don't like. Those can be used, but they're not, you know, because you don't like them. But another thing that can counter that is you can sell them, obviously. Um, like for me, I have about, for my collection, I have seven or eight that I don't like that I'll never use. So I'm looking in the future to sell those because I've only used maybe like two sprays of each. So those are some bad things another thing is a bad thing to um, blind buy is you can buy samples so you would smell it first and then it wouldn't count as a blind buy anymore because you've smelt it so you can buy samples and that can be a little bit more you know saving money because you're not gonna spend how much you don't you're not gonna spend a lot because you won't you, you will know what the fragrance smells like if you'd like it or not um, which makes sense and basically we're to come to the final question is blind buy a good or bad thing and in my opinion I think it's a bad thing just saying um, I've 
I'm guilty myself of doing it like for 90% of my collection as I said, but I wouldn't really risk it honestly guys. Um, if you guys don't have, you know, the good things of a blind buy, like the, con the, the time, the convenience, the local malls, I would just say, honestly, like, maybe buy a sample, because that's the best way, for my opinion, is just buy a sample, you know, instead of blind buying a whole bottle, e I, <laughs> I don't know, um, because I've wasted about, like two hundred, three hundred dollars on blind buys that I don't like, so I maybe could get that money back, but it's kind of just gone now. Um, and obviously, when you get a fragrance and you use it, the value of it goes down much more than when you actually bought it. So I, I just don't know, guys. I feel like I want to say it's also a good thing, but at the same time, I'm like, it's there's too many bad, um, you know bad counters to the goods so they overtake the, the, the goods so the bad I, I think wins and guys I think blind buy is a bad thing but that's my just opinion that's my opinion it doesn't have to be yours but if you can you know relate to something let me know in the comments below but if you guys have enjoyed this video uh, comment down below subscribe for more videos and like this video, share with your friends. I mean, we are more than halfway to 2K, um, and that rhymes. And you guys have a good day. That was a great way to end it, but I wanted to say more stuff, but that was it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and let's leave it at that. Gotta say bye, and pet my cat. Peace.